हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ जी सी पी टूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट जी सी पी सर्विस विच इज़ अ गूगल क्लाउड स्टोरेज एंड इन शॉर्ट्स वी आर ऑल्सो सेंग जी सी एस सो गूगल क्लाउड स्टोरेज इज नथिंग बट द स्टोरेज वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर आर डेटा इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइल्स दो फाइल्स कुड भी योर सी सी फाइल और द पार्केट फाइल्स और द और फाइल्स एज पर योर नीड यू आर स्टोरिंग दोज फाइल्स देयर सो लेट मी क्विकली गो इन साइड द ब्राउजर एंड विल ट्राई टू क्रिएट द गूगल स्टोरेज अकाउंट एंड आफ्टर दैट विल सी हाउ मेनी फीचर्स वी कैन एड देयर सो लेट मी जम्प डायरेक्टली टू द ब्राउजर सो हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी लॉग इन विद माई क्रेडेंशियल एंड इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू गेट द फ्री क्रेडिट फॉर द लर्निंग देन यू कैन सिंपली गो इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड यू कैन वॉच द सेकेंड वीडियो वेर यू कैन सी हाउ टू क्रिएट द फ्री अकाउंट ऑन गूगल क्लाउड लेट मी क्विकली गो हियर यू कैन सी द नेविगेशन मेनू इन द लेफ्ट टॉप इफ यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दैट देन हियर वी शुड बी एबल टू सी द गूगल क्लाउड स्टोरेज दैट यू कैन सी हियर इफ यू डोंट वॉन अ गो हियर you can simply go and search with the storage if you are searching with the storage the first option you can see the cloud storage let me click on that so it is opening your storage window and inside that you can see the overview then the bucket and after that monitoring of those buckets and then setting so these options are enable for us in the overview here we have not created any bucket yet so we are having option for creating the bucket we can directly jump in any specific path and we can also see the bucket list if we have already created those so let me quickly go inside the buckets and here let me try to create a new bucket so you can see the option for creating the bucket and here also we can see the path for go to path so if you want to jump any path we can simply go inside that bucket let me click on this create and here the first option we can see the bucket name so it is saying the pk globally unique so the name that we are going to specify this bucket that should be globally unique so i am going to specify like ssu 001 maybe so this is not taken yet so that's why we are not getting any error if we are going to take only ssu so this is already taken and we can see we have to take another name so let me try to use 001 now the next option we can see optimize storage for data intensive workloads so this option we are having for enabling the name space inside your bucket so what hierarchical name space we are going to use here so we should be having one of the bucket and after that we can create the multiple folders and subfolders by enabling this option now next we can see label so we can also add the labels if you are going to filter out based on those labels we can do that so let me try to add one label that could be your hr data maybe so that's why i am going to add this hr and here we can see option for continue so let me click on this continue next option is very important so where we want to keep our data so we are having total three options first is the multi region second we can see dual region and third is the single region so in the multi region we have to specify the region on which we want to keep the data like if i am going to select the asia so the data should be going to allable inside the asia region and it will be stored in multiple regions and multiple locations but we don't have idea on which location the data is keep the second option is the dual region here we have to specify two different regions where the data should be going to store as we can see first we have to select the continent and inside that continent we have to select the region if you are going to select the asia specific then it will be going to store inside the asia if you are going to select the america it should be going to store inside the america i am going to select the asia specific and then we are going to select this region so if i am going to select mumbai other options are disabled we can only go with the delhi we can select the delhi and we can also see the estimated cost for both 
and if i am going to select any another maybe this one then other options are disabled only we can select this option so according to your need you can select it the third option we are having which is the reason so it will be going to store the data inside a single reason so as i am going with the testing only so i am going to use this as a single reason so let me try to search somewhere mumbai and we can store it there and let me tell you the real time scenario where we should be going to use these options so if you are going to follow the medallion architecture where we are having the bronze layer silver layer and gold layer <coughs> so in bronze layer and silver layer we can go with the single reason and in the gold layer we should be going with the multi reason or we can go with the dual reason so let me quickly go and click on this continue so here the next option it is saying your storage class so what is the storage class so here we can see standard so you can also read out this description it is best for short term storage and frequently access data so if your requirement is we want to keep that data for storing the short time and we want to access quickly maybe your bronze layer so we can go with the standard the near line it is best in terms of the storing the backups and accessing the data less than one month so this we have to keep in the mind if your requirement is accessing data which is less than one month then we can go with the near line third is the cold so your data will be stored somewhere and once a while we are going to read that data in a quarter only that scenario we should be going to use the cold line because the latency of this will be high so that's why we should be going to keep only that data which is not going to access frequently after that we can see our archive so if you are going to store the data which is not going to use more than maybe one year or approximately one year then we should be going to use with the archive because the latency of this archive will be more than the code line so you can see like a standard will be having the latency very low so quickly we can access the data near line will be having little bit higher time and after that code line will be having more time to access the data and archive will be also having more time to access the data and pricing also depending on these if you are going to use the standard then pricing will be high and if you are going to use the other options maybe near line then you can see this like earlier it was 253 but now it is having 0.016 if you are going with the cold line then it is also going to decrease and if you are going to take the archive then pricing is very low so according to your need you can specify which type of storage class you should be going to use in my case i am going to use the standard let me click on continue let me go here here we can see the access control so if you are going to select your hierarchical namespace bucket option then we should be going to with the uniform the other fine grained option is disabled for us so what these two is we can simply read out this description so it is ensuring the uniform access all objects inside the bucket by using one bucket level permission if you are going to provide the permission of the bucket level so we are going to access all the objects those are available inside that and this option becomes permanent after 90 days after giving the permission and inside the find end we have to specify the individual object level permission so you can simply say if we are having hierarchical name namespace option then we should be going to specify the root level access and all other inside those objects will be accessible for that user and in case of the find gain we should be going to specify the access for individual folder level next option how we are going to control our objects so here we are having the data protection on all so we can see we should be having option for the soft delete policy and after that use default retention duration which is by default 7 days or we can also set the custom so it will be going to 10 days or 20 days so it should be between 
7 to 90 days but i am going to go with the default option let me click on this create now but before that we can see the data encryption let me click here as well and let me tell you quickly so here we are having two options one is the google managed encryption second is the google kms key so if you are having any cloud key by which the customer wanna keep this data as secure as encrypted so we should be going to have this option and here we have to specify that key if you don't then by default option is the google managed encryption key so i am going to keep as google managed encryption key because i don't have any another key with me so let me quickly go and try to click on this create now so it will take a while so it is in indicating like the public access will be prevented on this bucket so i am going to click on this confirm and after that it will be creating your bucket so this is we can see the created bucket of this so here we can see we have created this bucket and under that we have this create folder option we can click on this create folder and we can specify like raw and we can click on this create so we should be able to see this raw folder and inside the raw folder maybe we can specify another folder and we can specify the year that could be your 2025 let me click on this create so it will be creating another folder with 2025 so this is all about the google cloud storage in the next video we'll see how we can create the bigquery and after that we'll see how we can load the data from gcs to bigquery so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video